Yeah, we all get along. It's just that, like, everybody gets along, but because there's so many people on the team, you really don't know everybody. And sometimes it's funny because you'll be cheering for somebody, but you don't really know their name, especially the distance runners because there's, like, a million of them. And you're just like, oh, go, Christy, or go, so-and-so. And then you get to somebody you don't know, you're like, go, Georgia. Yay, team right. <laughs> but, I mean, that's, I guess, how the team is. Like, mostly you have, like, the distance people hang out together, like, in their own group. And then you have, like, the sprinters and the jumpers kind of hang out together. Well, I guess, like, the distance and the throws hang out more together. But who do you hang out with? I hang out with all the sprinters and the jumpers for the most part, but everybody's cool with each other. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do, let's say, when you're hanging out? Oh, hopefully you can involve <laughs> <in> drag. <laughs> um, well, we have game nights. Like, we play Wii or we'll have situations where, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this because I'm nasty, but we pregame before we go out and we party. Don't put that on there. And <laughs> also, what else? Like, we have card games. Also, during the season, we host a lot of recruits, so that's always a big event because when you host a recruit, like, you want to show them the best time, like, you need to come to Georgia because of this, so you take them everywhere you can possibly go, like, to the mall, to the games, you take them out to party, like, you just show them around everywhere, try to show off the school. So and you actually take here. them out to party? Does yeah. anything crazy ever happen when you and the track team has gone down <laughs> now? <laughs> Yeah, a lot of crazy stuff actually happens. I'm not going to mention that, but <laughs> if you ask me off camera, I will probably tell you <laughs> what happened. Have you ever witnessed a fight downtown or anything like that? Yeah, I have witnessed a fight downtown, and there have been times when teammates have been kicked out. I have road anxiety about, you know, possibly getting in a car crash or not, you know, running into somebody have you had any experiences with that um with anxiety not so much um not until i actually got into my first accident which was actually in high school go figure um it was just like after school one day i was trying to go home and i didn't live that far from school so mm. um but i was on my way home and there's a ton of traffic because everybody just got out of school and people's parents are coming to pick them up and then the buses are going. So for, I'm going down this road, right? And the school bus has stopped to let some kids off. And there are a couple cars in front of me uh, between the school bus or whatever. And then there's a car behind me and then there's nobody. And the school bus, you know, it's taking its time, it's being safe. And you then... You have to be just pure fun board. Yeah, absolutely. You're supposed to be. And then this red truck came up behind the car that was behind me, and it just like, and it was, I don't know, it was kind of funny because the guy that was driving it was redhead, and so he just like slammed the car behind me, and uh, that car, it like, it caused this train effect, um, and it was really, it was really rough. It was just really intense, and um, the guy behind me is like slamming into me, and then like ricocheting back and forth between me and the redheaded guy. So it's like a ping pong effect. It really is. And it was really uncomfortable because I was in this really high car and I was like being slammed forward into the <laughs> car in front of me. And um, you know, the guy that was in the very front between the bus, he was just like barely tapped. It was, but you know, so I was in the middle, of course, where I belong. <laughs> Once you got out of the wreck, like were your parents Glad that you were okay? Were they upset that the car was messed up or? Both. Um, you could say it went both ways. I think the funniest thing is when customers come in like either drunk or on drugs. Mm -hmm. We had this one woman who was on meth come in and she brought her cell phone that I think she bought at like Target or something. And she literally like dumped it in water or something and then like also had it run over. And then <laughs> she was like coming in demanding of me to like exchange the phone for something else. I didn't have my name tag on because I don't wear my name tag very often. <clears throat> but she like tried to get my name. And she's like, what's your name? So then finally I was like, I don't know. I don't have a name tag on. So then like she asked another associate. They're like, what's her name? She, he was like, I don't know. She doesn't have a name tag on. So like all of us in the whole department like came up with that story. And then she somehow got away and then told the AP, the guy at the front, 
she was on meth, so we actually knew she was on meth. I miss work. <clears throat> I'm for ridiculous reasons only. My colonoscopy. I had to miss work because I found out from stool samples, which is gross, I know, but uh, that I had penicillium mold in my colon and in my intestines, so I had to talk to the CDC a lot about it. But I had to go get a colonoscopy, and of course I was like the laughing stock of work because they're always like, how's it growing? Like making fun of the mold in my butt. It's kind of gross, but... <laughs> and they, I mean, the weirdest thing was actually talking to the doctor while he was doing my colonoscopy. Because apparently you're supposed to be asleep when you're having it done. But for some reason, like the anesthesia, the anesthesia didn't really work on me that well. So I was fully conscious. I couldn't feel anything. But I was fully conscious. So he's like, do me a favor and just watch the screen the whole time. So literally, like, while he was doing his business, I was just looking at the screen. And he's like, what does it make you look? Like, what do you think of when you look at that? And actually, like, the inside of there is kind of gross. It looks like chicken sausage and, like, yellow Gatorade all the time. It's really gross. But, yeah, I mean, I watched it the whole time. Crazy he intense. talked to me. I didn't really think he expected to talk to me the whole time, but... I was nosy. But I mean, people were nice to you about? Oh, yeah. I mean, besides from, like, the jokes. Because everyone in the waiting room was, like, 60s and 70s and 80s, and then there I come in, like, a little 21-year-old kid. And, yeah, the doctor's office is really cool. They always had, like, juice boxes and, like, food, because I guess old people like to eat and drink before they go to the butt doctor, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, did you get any other fun surprises besides juice and snacks? My mommy bought me this bear. Oh, really? Yes, she said it was because I'm a big girl now, so I need a big bear <laughs> for the colonoscopy. And then she also said it could be my boyfriend, 